like and subscribe right now or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Usually, different species don't mate, but when they do, their offspring will be what are called hybrids. Naturally born hybrids often feature better developed traits borrowed from each parent species. That means that the good traits manifest better and the most terrifying traits you don't even want to imagine. Hello and welcome dear viewer to yet another exciting episode of 100M where we'll look at 10 of the most bizarre animal hybrids that actually exist. Number 10. See-through frog. Have you ever seen an animal with transparent skin that lets you see its internal organs? Japanese scientists managed to produce a hybrid frog with see-through skin in the early stages of its life. At birth, the hybrid tadpole lacks fully developed skin, relying only on a really thin transparent membrane for protection. At that stage, most of the energy the tadpole will produce goes towards the development of thicker skin layers as much as towards the development of other internal organs. But first, it will remain vulnerable for the next few days. For scientists, it's a remarkable but bizarre trait since you'd expect that most creatures would naturally want to be adapted to their environment. Unless, of course, the trait was meant to spare the young frogs from the dissection scalpel during medical research. I have my doubts, though. Number 9. Emerald Green Alicia. I bet you haven't seen a plant-animal hybrid before. So far, scientists have only been able to produce hybrid animals and plants individually since cross-reproduction between one type of complex organism with another seems impossible. As such, the Emerald Green Alicia, also known as the Green Sea Slug, is a strange but unique entrant on this list. It's a plant-animal hybrid that results when the sea slug incorporates genetic material from the algae it eats into its sea slug DNA. The resulting creature has the ability to turn solar energy into nutrients via photosynthesis like a plant, and it can scavenge and consume food like an animal. It's an amazing phenomenon that has puzzled many scientists researching endlessly trying to figure out how it all happens. For now, the emerald green Alicia is the only creature to successfully combine gene material from one type of complex organism with yet another type of complex organism. Number 8. Savannah Cat These cats can grow to be twice as large as domestic cats. You may have seen them before since they're a favorite pet among celebrities. Savannah cats get their name from their natural habitat of their serval parents. These are beautiful, medium-sized, large-eared wild African cats. When crossed with the domestic cat, the resulting offspring looks wilder and scary large for a domestic cat. The hybrid cats are striking animals, featuring a slender form and spotted cheetah-like coats that give them that wild, exotic appearance. Surprisingly, these half-domestic, half-wild cats share the same chill temperament of the average house cat. They are extremely intelligent, loyal, and loving creatures, described as being more dog-like. Still, they do have a bit of the wildcat DNA in them, so expect those with more servo blood in them to have a far less predictable temperament. Number 7. Belgian Super Bowl this breed of bulls from Belgium features unusually developed muscles that make them look incredibly ripped. They are variously known as the Super Cows of Belgium or the Belgian Blue Bulls. And anyone who knows anything about these bulky beasts knows that they haven't been injected with any form of steroids to beef them up. Rather, their toned up physique is said to be the result of a recessive trait called double muscling, caused by a disorder affecting the myostatin gene. And did you know that this somewhat mutant of a breed of cattle traces its origin back to the 1800s when Belgian scientists and farmers decided to develop a sort of hybrid by breeding native bulls with shorthorn bulls? With time, the breeders selected the biggest and strongest bulls of each hybrid variety and bred them together in that sequence until finally achieving the super ripped Belgian bulls we know today. Number six. Roller bear. Grizzly bears and polar bears are the most feared and most dangerous bears you don't want to encounter. Now imagine the cross between the grizzly and polar bear. You get one massive bad boy of a bear to contend with. These hybrid offspring sport a mix of features from both bears, including their physical and behavioral characteristics, as well as their ferocity. I mean, it's only natural that the babies of these large, feared predators would resemble their large, fluffy, but 
terrifying parents. The adorably shaggy, caramel-colored hybrid bears produced weigh about a thousand pounds and measure nearly as tall as the polar bear. And yes, they are better able to survive in both the Arctic environment up north and the warmer south. Interestingly, bear hybrids occur naturally in the wild. Odd, given that, generally speaking, polar bears and grizzlies have a mutual contempt for one another and will rarely coexist in captivity, and their natural habitats are distant from one another. Number 5. Wolf Dog don't be tempted to think that wolf-dog hybrids are a little less harmless because they're part domestic dog. You must never trust their wild and unpredictable wolf DNA not to be ill-fated. But even as they've got a little of a bad rap, many dog owners considering having an exotic dog breed are opting more for wolf-dog hybrid canines than the regular pup. These hybrids aren't much of a rarer sight in the US, and some established canine breeds like the Czechoslovakian and the Sarloos are in fact wolf-dog hybrids. Crossbreeding between the two species never takes place naturally, however, mostly because in the wild, the mating cycles of dogs and the mating cycles of wolves are in opposition to each other. But when they are crossed, the resulting pups sport a mix of features that is neither distinctly canine nor distinctly lupine. Number 4. Koi Wolf What do you get when you cross a coyote and a wolf. A koi wolf. The size is between the coyote and wolf, and it shares many behavioral characteristics with both species of parents, but it's neither distinctly a coyote nor a pure wolf. Coyotes and eastern wolves crossbreed naturally in the wild, and unlike most half-breeds, koi wolves are fertile offspring. In fact, many believe that their ability to reproduce is the reason why their population has more than doubled in the woods of eastern North America and Canada. Sightings of koi wolves have been reported in Florida and every other place in between to Maine. People, however, miss them since they are often mistaken for eastern coyotes. To the untrained eye, koi wolves really look more coyote than wolf, mainly because they're far smaller than you'd expect for an eastern wolf. Still, these hybrids aren't as timid as their coyote parents, and their temperament may be unpredictable once the wolf DNA kicks in. Number 3. Jag Lion. In the wild, the lion and jaguar would not coexist. They are not mortal enemies, but it just doesn't happen. When the two encounter each other, however, and they happen to have a cub, the offspring will be called a jaglion or a liguar, depending on which mating species is the male and which is the female. Not much is known about this hybrid since only a few exist. The most known jaguar lion hybrids are the 2006 jag lions named Jazara, the female, and Tsunami, the male from the Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada. While one had the coloring of a lion with the characteristic rosette pattern spotting of its jaguar parent, the other sported a magnificent dark gray coat with black spotting from the dominant melanin gene of the black jaguar parent, but also had a sparse mane and a tufted tail like its lion parent. Both were large and strong animals, and dangerous looking too, and they seemed to be torn between choosing the solitary life of their jaguar parents and the social nature of their lion parents. Now that right there is a scary mix of behaviors and characteristics. Now it's time for today's best pick. It's a picturesque hybrid that appears to be a cross between a rhinoceros and a zebra. Let's find out more about it. Number two. Zebra hybrids. Zebra hybrids often take the physical form of whichever animal they've been crossed with, while retaining the striped coat of the zebra parent. However, the hybrid animal rarely features the characteristic black and white stripes of a pure zebra. Their stripes usually appear on the legs, sometimes the neck, and the non-white parts of the body, depending on the genetics of the non-zebra parent. Technically, zebras can only be crossed with equine species, where the resulting hybrids are referred to as zebroids. When paired with a horse, the resulting hybrid is called a zorse, and the offspring of a male donkey and a female zebra will be called a hinny. These are both unruly, crazy looking animals, which are hard to tame, and are more aggressive than their pure horse or donkey parents. On the bright side though, the zebra part gives the hybrids high resistance to certain pests and diseases. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. 
could just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Human Z. It's not the first time scientists expressing a super creepy, crazy, messed up idea such as creating the impossible cross between a human and another creature, possibly the chimpanzee. A few years ago, scientists advocating for the proliferation of freaky lab experiments applied for a patent to crossbreed the first human with a chimpanzee. The term human Z was coined from the crazy human chimp hybrid idea, but the rather controversial experiment is said to have never taken flight. Still, there are those who claim that Soviet scientists may have carried out the procedure in secrecy in 1920, but were unsuccessful at creating the human chimp. And there's the possibility that US scientists may have carried out a similar procedure at a secret primate research center based in Florida. Apparently, the researchers successfully inseminated a female chimpanzee with semen from an anonymous human donor, and the pregnancy came to term, resulting in the first ever human Z. Do you think the little hybrid would have had an easy life in Hollywood? You made it to the end of the video, but hey, if you enjoyed or learned something new today, be sure to smash the like icon and leave a comment. Your engagement music keeps our curiosity going. We have lots of fantastic videos that you will enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.